and Chile's packaging opportunities. Ipaquima is a very strategic show for Chile since we have an important growth potential adding value to the food industry to packaging innovation and technology. As well, it's important to, for you to know that several packaging and food companies and private brands and current brands were established in Chile by Italian immigrants over a century ago. So we have a long relationship with Italy in packaging. Chile has a current investment climate which is very uh, thriving. We have a population of 18 million projected for the year 2015 with a third of the population centralized in Santiago, a GDP of about 281 billion, and an A-plus Standard & Poor's rating at this moment, with a 6.5 growth forecast for 2011. As well, we have the, wi the widest area of free trade agreements in the world, uh, with uh, over 50 free trade agreements signed. Uh, currently, it's being signed with Vietnam, as well as including the U.S., uh, European Union, China and Japan, Latin America, most of the countries in Latin America and India. Our general debt is about 3% of the GDP, so we have a very trustworthy economy. Our, our geography means that we have a very centralized economy, a very centralized packaging industry, and even distribution and logistics is centralized in the Santiago area, including some of the main ports. That is, in spite of our 4,000 kilometers long um, open window to the Pacific Ocean. So one of our main tasks is to decentralize and open new infrastructure to take advantage of our coastline as a gateway to the Pacific. Although our production areas are marked by the geographical and climatic conditions ranging from the driest desert in the world, up on the left brown side, uh, down to very rainy and forest uh, regions. Most of the distribution is done by land within the country and of course for exports to shipping. That puts a lot of stress on packaging. The northern zone is well known for minerals, for the, one of the largest copper mines in the world, as well as for fishing. But as well, a lot of investments are being made to recover native products with high nutritional and commercial value within the food industry, where we require a lot of packaging solutions and processing. The Central Valley is well known for the wine industry, with vineyards ranging from east to west. Wine is one of Chile's main ambassadors. It's also an area intensive in horticulture. Here we have sufficient surplus raw material for developing very interesting new food products such as prepared meals or other extended life products which add value to products. This again requires important partners investing in food processing and packaging technologies. The southern region is known for the salmon production, for milk industry and for forestry and it homes some very important regional players in the cellulose business where we have companies supplying paper, cardboard, craft paper, and an important industry of corrugated board. Our surplus food production means we must export in order to develop local industry and take advantage of our food supply. This presents a great opportunity for improvement of packaging solutions and better quality packaging. Our challenge is to innovate at competitive prices with more quality especially in terms of features such as closures, opening and sealing devices, caps, easy open, laminations, display and innovative packaging. The question Chile has to solve is whether we want to continue exporting fresh and frozen products, considering our geographical challenges in the local capacity, or if we're going to take advantage of processing and pack packaging technologies to add value to our production so we can export to foreign markets. As you can see by the map, Chile's challenge to develop as a gateway to the Pacific means we should also be an interesting platform for uh, companies from Brazil and Argentina crossing the Andes Mountains. To reach this goal, the government has 
developed since 1993 over 50 trade agreements, as I mentioned previously. The gateway to the Pacific opens a potential consumer market of over 4 billion consumers. Two, the government has to create, and is working on it, uh, important strategic market strategies to reach the new consumer markets, mainly for the USA, Europe, and Asia. 